everyone. My name is Joshua Williams, and I am nine years old. Cool. And and what are you doing to uh, to help other people? I'm helping the poor by giving them food. Cool. You want me? Can you uh, tell me a little bit more about uh, about what you do with uh, Joshua's Heart Foundation? Yes. Well, Joshua's Heart Foundation is created to help the poor by giving them food. Cool. Um, and and what inspired you to do this? Well, one day I was going to church, and I and my grandmother gave me twenty dollars. Then I saw a homeless man on the side of the street. I felt bad for the homeless man, so I decided to give him my twenty dollars. But the main reason why I started Joshua's Heart is because I saw I I saw a commercial come feed the children. I feel bad for these children. I wanted to help them all. I wanted to adopt them all. But I couldn't. So I had an idea to help the people around my community. Cool, man. That's a good that's an awesome story. Um what are some of what are some challenges you see facing young people? Like what do you see as a big challenge facing us? Uh hmm. Well, I see that they're not caring for their neighbors enough. Well, and mm-hmm. they need, ed- they don't really have the education they need to do well in school. And in some communities, there's a high dropout rate from schools, and they're mm-hmm. not passing their FCATs and everything like that. And sometimes they're not having good role model. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and you saw a problem and you decided to do something to fix it. Well, what you know that's that's really inspiring. What advice would you give to other kids who want to do the same thing? What would you tell them? Well, I would say that they. And that I would say that well, one day Martha Sweet says that if you can't feed a hundred, feed one. And I'll also say that you should never ever stop trying to complete your goal. And just keep trying to complete that goal. And pretty much, it, it, you don't. You can help Russia's heart, give m- donations to your local charity, or and you can even and you can even help the poor around your community by getting pans and food, and then give it to the homeless and poor. Yeah, why don't you talk a little bit about the programs? Okay, we have five programs. The first one is called the reading program. There's the reading program, the backpack program, the gardening program, the ambassador program, and the regular food distribution program. Okay. The backpack program is when each Friday in low-income schools, we give children a backpack full of food for the weekend because sometimes they don't have food and they're on the free lunch program at school. Secondly is the reading program. The reading program is when is when we try to educate the poor people so that they can have an education, and then they can we can break the cycle of poverty in that family. And the gardening program is when we try to have gardens in each city neighborhood so that these poor people they can go to the gardens and get supplies of vegetables and fruit so then they can get people people who food that are in the community that we planted and it's a good thing. It's green. And the ambassadors the ambassadors are when we have children in different parts of the United States and the world and they have a doctor right there that helps the poor in that area. And the food distributions, which are is our main distribution main program program and it's created to help the poor by giving them food, which is our main purpose. And that's where we distribute food. 